how to create a user assign multiple roles and assign multiple data access entries in a short time there will be multiple occasions you will have to create a user and quickly assign roles and uh, data access so we will see how to quickly do these things the first thing is we will create a user from the security console so let us go to the security console we already have this uh, instance open here from tools we go to security console and go to users add a user account give first name and last name email phone not required not mandatory give a password and confirm the password so that is creating a user let us assign the roles it could be very tedious if we assign the roles one by one so what we can do is instead of assigning role one by one we can just use a reference user for example kc brown and assign the roles to ramachandra that is the newly created user all those roles which are already assigned to kc brown so select this username and add role membership from the user so you can see here 90 roles are added in one go say okay and click done you can see the roles appearing here at the bottom the next thing is assign the data access let us open the instance in another tab but before that we will save and close the user wait here until the user is completely saved along with the role assignments there are many roles assigned 90 roles assigned so it will take some time a process is triggered there is no need to watch that process so let us open the instance in another tab and go to setup and maintenance and go to manage data access for users manage data access for users and open the task choose users with data access and give the name of the user that you are recently created and search you can see there are no data access entries here yet we are not assigned any data access so let us assign multiple data access entries in one go for that you have to click authorize additional data access say okay wait until the template opens click on enable editing do you want to connect yes slightly enlarge this one so that you can see the details here enter the username and the password and click sign in wait here until the excel sheet is loaded just ignore this message fail to retrieve data that is not a problem click okay and you will see multiple rows appearing here you will see this action failed but not to worry about that whichever data access entries you want to make keep them ready in an excel sheet like this is an excel sheet which is ready just keep all your entries ready here and change this username ram chandra select 
and press control D that will change all the entries and select this entire thing. Please remember this is a separate excel sheet. This is not a template that is downloaded by Oracle. Just keep this excel sheet ready for your own use and then go back to the excel template and you can create a few rows here. Insert the rows first. Then maybe you can go back, copy this, control C and paste everything from there. You can see all these data access sets you want to assign for US primary ledger, Germany primary ledger, etc. for this particular role. As an example, I have taken only one role. But you can do the same for multiple rows here by inserting multiple rows and mentioning the name of those rows. It is necessary that this particular role has already been assigned to the users when we did the role assignments. Once you are done with this, click on upload and wait. You can see these rows are inserted successfully. These five data access entries that we wanted to create and then we can go back to the instance and search it here to check whether it has happened correctly. You can see here for this user Ram Chandra for the role general accounting manager several ledgers have been assigned with the security context as data access set, which is as per the spreadsheet, click done here. So we have completed the data access. Now we have to run the processes, retrieve latest LDAP changes and import user and role application security data. Go to the instance. And we can open the instance again in another tab and go to scheduled processes from tools. And schedule a new process. So this particular one. and submit and one more process import user and role application security data say ok and submit once you have submitted both the processes we have to verify whether the user that you have created is showing all the different menus etc. So we have to log in and verify. Log out this user first. Confirm. Let us log in with the new user. and go to the navigator and if you scroll down you can see the general accounting here and all the menus of the user appearing here because there are 90 roles assigned and we have assigned only a few ledgers so if we go to journals we should be able to make a journal for those ledgers for which we have assigned the data access. So you can see those five ledgers are appearing here which are as per the Excel spreadsheet we have used to do the data access upload. Thank you for watching the video and you are welcome to oracleerpguide.com.